Can you believe this shit? This is what the planet's dying for? This is why we're bleeding our dry? <sighs> Look at it. Look. All of it. Mako. Siphoned straight from the life stream. From our veins. Hey, get a grip. we have here? A man with a rain cloud over his head. So how about a reading to clear those somber skies? Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just gonna go shoot the messenger, eh? This is some kind of toy. You can lads. Eyes up here. <gasps> okay, Seth. Fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. It's a toy, all right. Treat life like that. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off. and understaffed. Great. Hello? <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? Huh? Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Uh, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Mm. Mm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? It feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Hmm. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you true. You can answer any question? Of course. Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right. Hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. 
What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on! Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm. Come on, you stupid thing! Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek, and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. Apologies, sir. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. <laughs> Looks fun, huh? Please, we are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. Cloud, we've got trouble. Is that a cat? What is it? Get to the Coliseum, on the double. Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. This has to be a mistake. Let's go find out. It's like I told you, someone went in a rampage, and now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen. 
with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and a gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the gold saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top, where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians, and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mugging, maiming, murdering, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Hmm? Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Shine! Huh? 
top of the morning to ya. Well, now, wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. Up, up. <laughs> Uh, Off we go! <laughs> you just wait right there. Hey, boss! Your guests are here! <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! Allow me to welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you, you, maybe you, or is it the pooch? I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let me just say, bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So, the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the woods. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your piggies. Help us out! Oh. Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of you. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say... There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds on the clock. Can put a price on anything. Ah, uh -uh. that's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> Not good. Uh -huh. Not good at all. Run! <laughs> Damn it. This way! Barret? I'll be chewing on sand for weeks. Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am! Ugh. What are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. <sighs> they did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. 
Barrett, talk to us. I know the man who murdered all those people. Dine, my best friend. We gotta go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now! Wow. Fear not, friends! Your chariot awaits! Dio? I've been using this to eavesdrop. Can never be too careful. But you are innocent. And I was wrong. By way of apology, I gift you this. You will receive a proper burial, I promise you. Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Um, is this not a bit much, sir? Hmm. The safety of my every guest is paramount. I don't know what happened in Midgar, but to me it matters not. Hmm. You are always welcome, my friend. This thing? Leave it to me, lass. Barrett. He said he wanted me to live with the guilt. Well, we're here for you.
I got this. All right. Feeling any better? Ugh, leave me. Hmm. Where to now? We don't have any leads, and driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! When you don't know where life's leading... You should get yourself a reading! Ooh! Meow, 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 meow! Meow, 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 meow! Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um. Mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait! Barrett, you mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car! Let's go, go, go! Well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. Right, just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? <laughs> All right, float it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can say Mako.
We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> sure, uh, let's. Uh huh. Cloud, you okay? I just. I feel like I've been here before. Mushrooms. They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here, here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. Passing through. You. What? Uh, nothing. For a second, I thought you were someone else. Who are you people? Aye, you'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see? <laughs> we sh well then. Oh. Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Cisne, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Ma'am! Ma You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course. <laughs> Come on. What is this? Three years ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance, which Shinra never provided. And then one day... So, they're cheap as well. Huh. This was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? <laughs> That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. I'm, uh, gonna take a look around. <clears throat> Seriously, get some rest, okay? Hey, you hear that? Yeah, gotta be a weapon. <clears throat> Wait. Do you know something about this? Could say that, yeah. You've been hearing it for a while? For a few days now, yeah. The Coalition tried to investigate, but... some creatures kept us from getting into the reactor. Though all they did was fly around. Just the sight of those weird black wisps was enough. More than enough. No, ain't that something. You could see them? Uh, yeah, of course. Why? Do you know what they are? 
<sighs> Whispers. <laughs> well, this just got more interesting. So, when do we leave? You, young lady, are on guard duty. No, oh, come on. I just want to help out. Be a part of the team. Yeah, but you've been a real team player. <laughs> Keep an eye on her for us. I'll do my best. Let's just get in, take a look, and get out. Figure you, me, Kate, and Red can do that easy. Agreed? Agreed. Let's go. You guys hold down the fort. No fair! No fair! <laughs> Damn. Nature came back swinging. That's the Michael Rich land. What's good for life is great for reactors. See your way in. Whispers. Though not as we know them. How you figure? Come. It's time. Let's follow him. Come on. Well now, would you look at that? You seeing this? Since the plant went offline, the whole place has been filling up with Marco. Which means the planet ain't done. We were right to take out those reactors. I wouldn't they go that far? Let's get to work. Too much Mako here. Oh no! That's a Relnica! Shit! How did they? You told them, didn't you? What? It must be me! I swear! Mako attracts all kinds, gnats and vermin included. Scarlet! <laughs> Thank goodness I had the foresight to bring some exterminators.
I'll go get the others. Cloud? You remember how our parents used to tell us that when a person died, their spirit would cross Mount Nebo? Yeah. We all knew it was a story to scare us out of climbing the mountain. You believed it, though. I didn't. At least, I had my suspicions. But I buried them. I wanted it to be true so badly. I didn't want to think my mom was just... gone. Plus, Emilio and the others said they'd help me find her, so up the mountain we went. Some help they were. Running off and leaving you out there? Not that I knew about any of that. You don't remember? <laughs> I hit my head pretty hard when I fell off that cliff. I think it messed with my memory. Everything from around that time's a blur. I only knew what the others told me. Didn't even occur to me to question them. What'd they tell you? They said that you egged me on. <laughs> but now I know that's not what happened at all. When the rest of them ran, you were there for me. You stayed when I needed you most. If that's not a hero, then I don't know what is. I'm no hero. What kind of hero falls off a cliff with the person he's trying to save and pushes him into a pool of Mako? Sometimes, I don't even know who I am. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine and know things I've got no right knowing. It's like there's different people inside of me. And the worst part is, I can't even tell where they end and I begin. Go on. Soldier cells degrade. I think that's what's happening to me. That I'm falling apart. That's not going to happen to you. You saved me before. Now it's my turn. About little old me? Aye, that's right. <laughs> Worried. Come on! Sorry! Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long, but I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane, follow the smoke! Come to, Come me. to me, airplane, airplane follow, follow the smoke! The smoke. Huh? Huh? What? Look! <gasps> right on cue! <laughs> well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here! <laughs> Where are you?
Where to, folks? Cosmo Canyon, please. You talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? Uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Oh, too many. But the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out, you're on your own. Because. <laughs> Fellow Bugenhagen. Come on. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. Huh. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. Welcome to the Sanctum of Planetology, Cosmo Canyon. I was born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal. Not a dog. Not a king. Is that you, my boy? Coming. So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, 
That'll do. I'm gonna steal some shut eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. <laughs> They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Ah, another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. Don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it... Well, who's to say they won't... ...let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands? I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. What do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire. Black material. material. With pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire. Purest of materia no more. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Release. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp. 
We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <laughs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Ah, uh, I guess we're back. Yeah. We need to get moving. Right! I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive! I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... What did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Cetra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Cetra never engaged in such practices. I... didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Cetra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. 
And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Nanaki! Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nibu... Haim? Nibu... Haim? Nibu Haim ain't bad. Artifa and I grew up. Ah! Of course! Nibelheim had a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember what you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. I mean, I thought he got us lost, because it looks different. So, who do you think we built it? Shinra. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find. Check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. <sighs> I don't see anyone.
You okay? Yeah. And this. Huh? Kate Sith? Ah, Yuffie! And where might you be? Back room off Mako storage. You? Town hall still. Thought I might be able to do something from here, so I tried accessing the reactor terminal. Anyway, did you find Murasaki? Yeah, we did. He died in a skirmish with Wutai. He... what? Then we don't have much time. We have to reach the terminal in Shinra Manor before word gets out. You've got the key card, right? Yeah. Good. Then slot it into the console. I'll work my magic from here. Should have that gate open before you know it. Yes! Get in there, my son! I'll go ahead and look for the terminal. See you there. <laughs> Meet at the manor. Got it. Cheerio! See ya! Let's go. Kinda creepy. Huh. This a kid's clubhouse? Ooh, I think it's a bit more dangerous than that. But nay bother, I'll protect you. Uh... Hello, and welcome to Shinra Manor. Uh -huh. Hojo. I don't know what it is you hope to find here, but I'm afraid this facility has been abandoned for some time. Everything of value is gone, but please feel free to poke around. Ah! It's not him. Just an AI caretaker. That said, this facility has always had a place in my heart. I must insist that you leave it in the condition in which you found it. And with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. We're trapped in here. <laughs> like rats in a cage. No squeezing through those bars. Huh? That duck, however, might just fit a cat. Sit tight, I'll have you out in a jiffy. Better for a wee lie down. <clears throat> so then, onwards and upwards. Ah, oh, for crying out loud! What is it this time? You'll require the password to proceed. Huh? Go again. Now, now, no need for violence. I come in peace, and to abet your escape as well. Huh? Like how you do? Really, it's true. You're far more resilient than anticipated. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourselves out peacefully. 
The password is comprised of four two-digit numbers. I wrote them down in this very room, but where? Well then, no time to waste. <laughs> of me. This area is off limits to any unauthorized personnel. It's where I've been keeping a rather unruly failure. <laughs> Wasn't he built for this kind of thing? Excellent work dispatching that scene. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tidy. All well earned praise aside, since that nettlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again. Exterminators. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting. A bit grim, no? Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Uh. <laughs> Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm hmm. Card. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> there. Oh. You have the authorization, at least. Oh, great. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it. But there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet unless we stop him. 
I see. Then I have one more sin to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Don't mind if we do, I guess. Still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any... Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Don't hurt me! Please! I can explain! Drop it. <clears throat> Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end?
That'll be your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet. Come on. Okay, next stop, the temple. Hear that, Black Materia? I'm coming for you. Oh, man. My rep's gonna go through the roof. Well, it ain't like it could go down. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's on. So, <laughs> where is it? Aye, about that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now, if you really wanted. Hmm? But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The Gold Saucer. I know. It's a stretch. No denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, if we gotta... Once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the saucer? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kitsef? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Look! Smoke! Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Whew. Let's get a move on then. <laughs> uh -huh. Huh. An eight? You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. <laughs> Please, uh, take a seat. <laughs> Do you think you can manage eight? I ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. Uh... Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots.
you can swim away from. <laughs> you almost killed us! Okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And what of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So, you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol. Sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. <laughs> well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. Flex it out. Training hard and getting those gains. What's up, party people? What's up? <laughs> It's a challenge from the dark! Signed and notified! Give the people what they want! Take it! In a team. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along! Tis fate! Nay! Divine intervention! What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed. You have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. <sighs> hmm. 
What about... Come on, think. You all right there? How's it going? Not so good. I had no idea you were into songwriting. <laughs> oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> they say curiosity killed the cat. I've never seen her look more beautiful. Yeah, she's a real star. mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Gardia. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Malfui was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. A truly remarkable display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring hero's and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love. And so our hero, Alfred, will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart.
Go on. Still got Corneo to go. Right. <laughs> now, who wants to be the first lucky lady? How about you? Tiffa, look out! <laughs> Daddy's coming! Estimate him. Time to stretch your stuff, ladies, and I want a good look. Absu's all feels champions are new. The stadium is borrowed, and they'll all get black and blue. So let the pride of ambition begin. Them off. That or smash them, maybe? <laughs> Let's fill them with lead. Don't bother. I'll just bite them off. <laughs> You're all so mean, so petty, picking on a poor small business owner. But hell, I can take it, and I can give as good as I get. So, all of you can, kiss my ass! Yeah. Hi-ho, my sewage stallion! We did. Eric! We did it. Yeah. Thanks to you, my champions, the Gold Saucer's name shall not be profaned. For this great boon, allow me to embrace you each in turn. Yeah, we're good with just the keystone. And we'll take it now, thank you. 
<laughs> As you wish. I will not deny you what is yours by right. Behold, your prize. Property. Cut the bullshit. Red! Huh? What the hell's going on? He just took off! Alright. Yuffie, Nanaki, with me. The rest of you deal with them. Let's get a move on. Time to get some payback for the mine. A grudge match, then! Over which I must insist you allow me to officiate. To ensure a fair and entertaining bout, we'll give you a chance to rest before the festivities. Once you're ready, you need but say the word. How it looks? What was I thinking? Trusting you. The company man with a heart of gold. Huh. What a joke. Barrett, no! Please! Screw it. Piece of shit ain't worth the bullets anyway. I don't understand. Why? Cuz he's an asshole! One we should have never trusted in the first place! Don't. He deserves it. Not you too. <laughs> Knew from the start I had to end this way, but it still stings. For a moment there, it felt like we were friends. Probably laughing at us from his new office. How are you not mad? He played us for fools from the start. <sighs> Just thinking about it makes me want to beat the crap out of him. Hey, are you okay? I'll be fine. Just thought I was a better judge of character. Forget him. So what's the plan then? We are not just gonna let him take the black materia, right? We're gonna go after him, right? And how are we supposed to do that without any leads? He's got a point. The only one who knows where the temple is, is Kid Seth. <sighs> but he told the Turks, whose chopper I should be able to track. Really? I know which radio frequencies they use. The moment they get on comms, I'll find them. 
Well now, the old gal's got a transmitter. Ha! Then we're in business. All right. I'll run on ahead and get her warmed up for you. Later. It's settled then. We follow Shinra to the temple. And the black materia will be ours. Started shaking. Let those who seek our star's demise find herein their rest. If the black materia is removed, the whole place comes down. Uh, you're kidding, right? Please tell me that you're kidding! Calm down. We just have to return it to the altar. Let go! You first, kid. It's too late! We can't stop it now! Besides, there's no point fighting over a fake! No. You're trying to fool me. Huh? 
dead. What you could. The rest is up to them. Now that's not a sight you see every day, eh? But you, boy, saw you. <laughs> if I popped my clogs, they'd be sobbing in the streets at the saucer. This beautiful body's but one of many. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> All right, knock it off, you. <laughs> so, y'all get what you were after? Read the room, dude. Like, come on. Hey, what's gotten into you? Didn't you hear what Aerith said? That's mine. Fine. Fetch. Sephiroth. <clears throat> this is the key. Which grants access to the true counterpart hidden between worlds. Give it back! Whoa! <sighs> At last, the time has come. What in the world is going on? <laughs> Could it be? Has it finally begun?
だ。I'm fine. Didn't know if it was Marco poisoning or the degradation, but I thought you were done for. Sorry to disappoint. Well, you can thank me for the ride later. Gotta find Aerith first. She told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods, and that the Cetra built a very special altar there. That's where she's headed. I'm sure of it. Problem is. Sephiroth stole the Black Materia. Meaning he could destroy the entire planet any minute. And... Aerith said she's the only one who can stop him. Where is this place? No one knows but her. We got separated in the fog, and... She's out there. All alone. Then we'd better hurry. That way. And how can you be so sure? Sometimes you just know. I'll be damned. It's like we're back on the expressway. Coming home real soon, honey.
Aerith. Wake up. Stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. See you off. Tifa, come on. Is it just a wee bit higher? Screw you, cat. How's this? No shit. Nice catch. So, what Aerith actually do anyway? For takeoff. <laughs> Finally. It's not fair.
The hell? The reunion. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, one sec. You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> mm. Alright, fine. We trust you. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity as it is. Don't worry about me. I can handle it. Take care. You gonna be okay getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? Then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Until I met you 